Now this is a hand gaff that is utilized for bringing in a big fish out of the water and onto the boat, onto the craft. And you take it and you go boom like that so it sinks into the fish and then you get and pull it aboard. And this is made out of stainless steel. Can you cut a little shorter? And it's, uh, it's particular uh, to this area. You don't see this in New England because they use a little different thing. Now, I have told the captain, if we get a big halibut, I want him to shoot the halibut in the water and not in the boat. I don't want him shooting the halibut in the boat because it puts a hole in the boat and the damn boat will sink. Now, if we get a two or three hundred pound halibut, how's one guy going to bring oh, out on? Oh, you got to get a couple of them. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Four. Yeah. So how many boats, those hooks do we have on board? Oh, we have about three. Oh, good. Oh, yeah. We're well equipped here. Okay. Does, do you have the fish or does the fish have you? Oh, I got him. I got him. Oh, oh boy. He's a pullet. Oh, he doesn't want to get down the boat. <laughs> he doesn't want your new address? Come to me, Obadiah. He don't want to change his address. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, his new address is Buckingham, PA. Oh, boy. You fellas are going to be so shy, so jealous when you see this fish. This is the best one we got so far. Oh boy, this is no throwback, I'll tell you. Oh, hot diggity. Oh, oh no, I'm not letting him take any line. I'm bringing him home. Oh, Luke Seal. Oh, Luke. Look at him. He's taking it. Oh. Come on, Doc, you're supposed to pull him in. Oh, yeah, we're pulling him. Oh, don't worry. Woo. Oh, Lucille. Oh, oh, oh. Wait till you see this one. You're all going to be so jealous. Oh, oh. You better get the gun. This is a big one. Oh, yes. Look at him. Oh, it's a dandy. Oh, you are right. Oh, it's a dandy. Oh, it's a dandy. Oh, yeah. We're going to harpoon him. Yep. Where's he at? He's right down there. He's in the water. Oh. Bring him up. I am. I'm bringing him. He's going to harpoon this one. Okay, Captain. Start easing forward. <laughs> Doc, you don't have him hooked very well, so be careful. Well, you want me to go forward? Yeah. You foul hooked him, Doc, so be careful. Doc, Excuse me. Is he foul hooked, Bill? Oh, yes, he is foul hooked. Up to the corner of that rail. All right. Raise him up just a little bit, Doc. Don't let him get away, Doc. Oh, no. There you go. There you go. Ooh, that hurt. Damn it. That's a big one. Right in the bone. Right in the hook. That hard thing stuck. No, it's not. No. You got to get more on him. Big one. I'm going to bring him in again. Don't worry. I told you I had a good one. Well, he's not. You know, mine is getting sort of lonely in that ice box. So. Well, yeah, well, <laughs> don't worry. We're going to change this one's address. <laughs> That's a nice one. Good job, Frank. What'd you get, Frank? Frank got a salmon. Excellent. All right. Nice silver. Nice silver. Come on, Doc, hurry up. We're getting time running out of film. Over? He's coming. Yep, there we go. Nice silver. Alright. Whatever you get, that's a nice silver. That's a 10 pound silver. I hit the infamous bone. I mean, I, I hit as hard as I could hit it. It was not moving through. That's a beaut. That's a 10 pound silver. Oh, he's 12. 12? Yeah. That's a beaut. First. When I, I knew it was something hard, then I, I, I slacked one and I said, sucker, you run off. Well, that's a I beautiful said, fish. Man. Beautiful fish, Frank. You gonna have that one stuffed? No. I stuffed the days a little bit. <clears throat> what, you take a line off your dock? Oh, he's, he's, I'm, take, I'm bringing him in. Don't worry. 
We're going to change this one's address. You're still changing addresses? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah this is overnight. Well, you fellas are just all jealous. Boy, he doesn't want to come in. He's scared of you. He's got all kinds of holes in him. <laughs> Maybe they ought to bring the rifle out and shoot him. I think so. <clears throat> Not yet. Are you seeing him yet? Nope. No? Where's my cameraman, Don? Let's have my dad run over there. Okay. I'll come around. <coughs> Hold that silver up, huh? Right? One second, I'm, I'm waiting. Where's that, uh, where's that little gadget? Right? Here, I'm here. Okay. And he's coming up again. There he is. There he is. It's Moby Dick. Well, there he is. Come on now, Doc, don't, don't be messing with him this time. Yeah, yeah. I'll be good. Oh, there he is. Oh, he's back again, back for more. He just took another run. He, he saw that address book and he didn't like it. That. Howard, how long did it take you to get that fish in? Oh, it was a long while. It was a big fight. I'll tell you, but I changed his address. <laughs> I'll tell you, it was a dandy. Is and that then the, the captain, when he, when he harpooned it, he harpooned it in the, in the spine and it didn't go through. And then the fish took another run. He got mad at you. Oh, he was irritated. Oh. Yeah. Like that, okay, very good catch. At Highland Hill Farm, we have a rabbit hunting program for hunters. We have a lot of rabbits, and I'm not a very good rabbit hunter. I have a pellet gun, and I shoot a few here and there, but these rabbits are too much for me. I try and try and try and shoot these rabbits, and I have trouble, as you will see. But we do have a rabbit hunting program for rabbit hunters. You can bring your dogs, and we have some places where, they're com where it's completely fenced so your dog can't get out. And we do have lots of rabbits because we raise trees and shrubs on this farm in Fountainville, PA. And rabbits do a lot of damage to our trees and that's why we like to kill the rabbits. So if you need a place to hunt rabbits, we do have a rabbit hunting program. And here is what our rabbit hunting program is for 2014. If you bring us a locust, cedar or pressure treated fence post, you can hunt rabbits for the day. Each person that comes has to bring a fence post. Or if you can't bring a fence post, then you can bring 100 feet of a used, not new, a used black poly pipe that's 100 foot long and it has to be at least one inch in diameter. If you bring 200 feet, you can have two days or two people can hunt one day. I don't care. I want the rabbits killed. Rabbits do a lot of damage to our trees. You just have to follow the regular Pennsylvania hunting season and you'll when you stop into the farm we'll give you a, a business card which you put your name and number on the card as well and you leave it on your windshield and then we'll know you're hunting rabbits. We have four different tree farms in Bucks County for you to hunt on and there are plentiful rabbits and they don't like to get shot but they're not afraid of guns. As you can see, I've been shooting all day and still haven't gotten this little critter. So you can come down and try and get them. Since I have such bad luck, you're welcome to come and try your luck. But there are lots of rabbits. So give us a call at 215-651. Ooh, I bet that hurt. 8329 at Highland Hill Farm in Fountainville, PA. Thank you.